Hey everybody. So today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different with this uh, habitat management page. My focus has been very clearly on deer, but with all the habitat work that I've been doing, um, there's definitely benefits to other wildlife. And I wanted to talk about small game habitat in particular. Um, Roughed grouse habitat, and well, and then as kind of a fringe benefit to um, rabbit habitat. So, <clears throat> with the, the cutting I do in the timber, one thing I've noticed with hinge cuts in particular is that I've been starting to see a lot more rough grouse in the area. So, when you think of grouse habitat, this is more of what you think of. Um, this is this was logged last year. This is aspen slash, and what's going to happen is this is going to blow up like aspen does this summer. We'll get probably six feet of regen, and this is going to be great deer habitat. It's going to be great grouse habitat. I'm sure the rabbits will be in here. Um, but this is what we think of when we think of grouse habitat is just aspen slash because grouse live in that aspen region um, that's their primary food source in the winter and it's just uh, it's what they they need to survive and we have a lot of aspen the further north we get in Minnesota but what I've noticed is with my hinge cutting I've been getting a lot of um, grouse usage and then also rabbit usage um, <clears throat> because I believe uh, they're in there because of the security cover it provides so if you actually read up on grouse in particular they're basically everything's food source. Like any kind of predator seems like they're basically the bottom of the food chain and they feed everything. And one of their main predators, especially around here, um, is is grouse and, or sorry, owls and hawks. So they have a lot of predators that attack them from above. But with hinge cutting, they actually get some security cover that they can tuck into and be protected from some of those predators that might hit them from above. <clears throat> so I did a little video um, just setting up a camera in one of my hinge cuts and the hinge cut was made for deer but of course when you do hinge cutting you're going to have thicker areas where it's going to benefit your rabbits and your grouse and even woodcocks I've seen. Um, so I did a little video I didn't do much of an introduction, so that's why I'm doing this video today. But uh, I put a camera up and just kind of documented what came through that area in a, in a week's time. And it was kind of cool just to see the small game that we're using it in, in particular. It was the pictures I got were of grouse and uh, rabbits. So just showing that, uh, I wanted to just show that hinge cutting and timber work has more benefits than just for deer, which I'm sure everybody knows, but I think it's been really cool to see, I mean, the rabbit population has exploded, but to see the grouse come back. My dad, when he used to hunt grouse back in the 70s and 80s, would, would see tons of grouse. But the population has really declined, at least in our area, and I think the main reason for that is just the amount of mature closed canopy forests that we have around. There's just not that good traditional grouse habitat. And uh, now, all of a sudden, in the last four or five years, I'm starting to see a lot more grouse on the farm where um, I hadn't for, for many, many years. I hadn't seen much for grouse at all, and they're fun to watch off the deer stand and see them back in the area plucking around so yeah so I shot a little video just kind of showing um, <clears throat> the benefits of hinge cutting for for small game um, and yeah it was it was great to see the re results so all right I'll switch to that video now and and then you can see what I got on the camera over a week's time all right so here's what I think of when I think of grouse habitat so we got canopy right over us with that right there you can see it cutting through to the other side about a foot and a half of cover there's rabbit poop in here and there's the camera so got some trees over overhead here so we'll see 
see what we get for pictures. I'll show them at the end of the video here. And hopefully, uh, I know there's grouse in here. I know it works for grouse for sure. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you get lots of cool pics. It'd be fun to see a pheasant too. This isn't really where I would think of as a traditional pheasant area. There's CRP, but that's probably 100 yards away. But there is corn within about 50 yards of here. So I think that's why I've, been, I've seen a pheasant here a couple times. So we'll see. But I do believe that uh, hinge cutting can definitely work for small game and upland birds. And we'll see if I get the uh, picture evidence to prove it. All right, you all take care. God bless.